Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this uh, old video you're gonna find a two brief uh, readings which are career and relationship to your representative star sign that refers to the week 13th to 18th of July 2020 and uh, as usual if you do want a personal reading you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such and another thing is that I have um, made the tarot class the tarot class a flash sale but I never announced it to you so you who are following me on YouTube you never knew about that it's 30% off and in order to get to this uh, to this sale uh, you have to message me on my uh, Facebook page and I'm gonna sort you out from there so uh, with uh, that being said, the sale is uh, on for one more week. And with that being said, laid back and enjoy the show. Right, so that is going to be uh, Aquarius career and relationship readings uh, in this video. So let's first have a look about uh, Aquarius' career and uh, let me shuffle the cards, guys. And we're going to jump right into it. Right, so uh, the first one for Aquarius, that is going to be the Sun card. Moving next, we do have the Page of Cups, followed by uh, the Devil card. And the last one here for their career, that is going to be uh, the Tree of Cups. Now, very, very interesting one. So, okay, so those uh, those four once again. So we do have the Sun, the Page of, uh, the page of Cups, the Devil and the Tree of Cups. So first of all, uh, that is a confirmation. I mean, those four cards, a confirmation that you are on the right track with your career. So whatever you anticipate to do, whatever development you are pursuing, well, it does look like that you are gonna make a significant progress into it throughout this particular week. And by the way, by looking at those cards, by the end of the week, you should see as well products or rather like a, um, how do you say it? Fruits of your labor, maybe? You know, a um, progress. Oh my God, yeah. So, um, well, however, there is a catch into it, okay? Uh, the thing is that uh, as we do have the Sun card into the first position, that means that you can't really force the things through. You can just do so much at certain stage of your career path or, or your job, you know, or looking for a job, in fact, because things are meant to unfold in a natural pace. And while that nat natural pace, Aquarius, does offer you a, a growing energies, if you will, or an energies of of expanding meaning that you are going to grow into the narrative you're moving on you're moving into in terms of career that will happen with time however once again i want to emphasize on that that in this very week you are going to see uh oh my god why, why i can't find that word you're going to see that actually your um your actions are producing results yeah that was the expression that i was searching for uh, another thing in terms of your career queries throughout the week, it is that for one or another reason, guys, you are going to be under the spotlight, meaning that uh, it's it's pretty much you're going to have the uh, power to create your own circumstances, to create circumstances under which you can be promoted, to create cir circumstances under which you're going to find your, a job, to create the circumstances under which you are going to establish business. But... What thing that you can do really wrong, or rather like what is going to be on your own doing throughout the week, and that is completely conditional once again, is if you do change plans, okay? So you already have the overview, you already have the concept, and that concept should not be changed in the very, very last minute. Now, by the end of this week, you should also face a lot of supporters, you know, people that will uh, levy to your goal. Uh, and a lot of support from your co-workers, a lot of support from your supervisor as well, and from your boss, if you will, also. And pretty much people will share your enthusiasm, people will share your vision as well. And uh, should you face any plight whatsoever in terms of career, uh, people are going to uh, once again levy to your cause and will help you with that. 
Now, that being said, just because you're going to maintain a, a good relationships with the people around doesn't mean that you have to soften up. So whomever cannot keep up the pace with you, well, they obviously does not belong around you, okay? And you shouldn't have any remorse of executing that. Now, that is the thing here, Aquarius. You have your career to make money, not to make love. You are going to work to produce results, not to make friends, okay? And that should be the, uh, how can I say, the, um, the concept that you are waking up every morning, doing your thing, earning your living, earning your keep. Uh, and one last thing for the career, um, if you do have any, how can I say, a, uh, ill relationships out there, for example, people hurt you, uh, for example, people humiliated you, and it's very common in these cases that people pretty much doubted you, that uh, you will be able to get the job done, that you will be able to pull the things through. Well, you're going to shove it into their face, proving them wrong, and now people will have your or you're gonna have their respect, or they're gonna have your respect. I don't know how to say it in English accurately. But yeah, people will respect you. That is what I am uh, trying to say. For the um, enormous amounts of, um, how can I say, for enormous amounts of progress, not by a, a volume, but as a, a quality, that you are gonna be able to establish throughout the week. So that is your week that you shouldn't slack, guys. But whatever plan you are entering with, in the week itself, that plan needs to be executed and you're gonna have the means to do so. Now, should you are looking for a job, most likely you're gonna find a, an opportunity to start a job that is gonna make you happy and also is going to be lucrative and you are gonna fit very well with the collective, okay? But once again, that is a potential, all right? And in order for you to find it, you have to look for it. So that was uh, in terms of your career, let me, um, gain control over my camera okay so let's uh, have a look what's your relation what your relationship life holds on Right, so the first card here we have is the uh, Five of Swords. Moving next, we do have the Four of Cups, followed by, wow, the Justice. And then we do have Knight of Pentacles. Then we do have Knight of Pentacles. Now, that's very, very interesting. Oh, it's, it's almost look like those Latino dramas that you do have a uh, 547 episodes from, all right? That, that is going to develop in your life throughout this week. I, I'm almost, I almost want to have a cameraman there, you know, shooting, uh, shooting it to be broadcasted. And so, um, oh man, I mean, if you recently had a dumped your girlfriend or a boyfriend for somebody else, now that is the week where you're going to understand how wrong you are, all right? So I hope that you are, that you have not made that, uh, that thing in the um, few weeks that have passed. Uh, on the grand scheme of things, again, the cards, so we do have the Five of Swords, the Four of Cups, the Justice, and the uh, Knights of Pentacles. So, uh, I, I, I have to start backwards here. So, by the end of the week, you're going to understand how much somebody meant for you, right? And that will come through uh, the whole process of the week events itself, understanding that whatever actions you have taken recently, there were... Um, actions to prove something either to yourself or to the public around but that's but the, but that proving or the whole process of proving it uh made you to go against yourself to go to go against your feelings to go against your emotions 
Um, and you have uh, unfortunately followed the pure logic in life for what it seems now good thing is that you're going to realize that recognize it and you have the uh, chance uh, throughout the week and the opportunity as well to mend uh, to mend those actions or those words most likely a words okay and uh, also you're gonna have the strength to take a full responsibility for the actions you have taken now doesn't necessarily the severance uh, that happened was your fault, okay? But in one severance, both are guilty, and all right, uh, for for a certain extent, you maybe five percent, maybe five percent of the guilt is yours, but still, the ability to recognize that and to have the determination to mend that guilt, it's it's a big thing, and you're gonna have it, and that will allow you. If you do decide to do so, to jump into the old branches of love. So yeah, we are talking about reconciliation only if you do recognize your mistakes and you're willing to fix those mistakes. Now, before I get crucified for it, okay, again, my statement is that in one severance, we are both guilty, okay? We both done our fair share of it. And... Uh, it's very important to once again recognize that now important thing here as well to be acknowledged is that if you do decide to jump into the old branches of love here okay uh the future of that love needs to be way more methodical than the than the than what have been oh my god i'm sorry than what have been experienced previously okay so much slower paced much more um thoughts put into the foreseeable future so you do need a plan also whatever you do whatever actions you do incorporate into this new relationship should be supported with strong determinations meaning that you are not doing it just for the shits and giggles but you are doing it because you want to do it okay and uh yeah, I mean, from a standpoint of, un or rather like from an unyielding standpoint here, you can adopt a very balanced and to a certain extent milder, um, milder standpoint, which will allow you to regain back a love that have been, uh, that have been lost. Okay, because currently we do have the four of cups into the second position. And that speaks that Well, how can I say it? That the history, it's not, but well, it, it, you have to look at it that way. Four of Cups into the second position in this narrative, it is like you think that you had your meal, but you are not even halfway through it. Okay, you think that you have get the job done, but you are not even halfway through it. Through it. So, no, you have not consumed the full estate of or the full extent of your previous relationship and you can definitely restore that state and keep on consuming it until you find that there is nothing more to consume and that may take an entire life so yeah those who are single those who are relationship especially those who are relationship be wary because someone from your past may come around and you may find it very difficult to resist those who are not in a relationship well probably you know Things are going to be very favorable for you to jump into a reconciliation. Uh, so that being said, um, Aquarius, that was your uh, weekly tarot readings. Hopefully you do enjoy them, guys, and you do like them. And uh, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.